Imagine having an AI that can watch your videos, give you instant feedback, and answer any questions you have about them for free. It sounds like the future, right? Well, the future is here and it's called Google Gemini 2.0. Up until this point, AI really couldn't give you feedback on videos. AIs could read the captions in your videos, but they weren't really able to watch them to give you complete feedback. Well, Google just changed that with their Gemini 2.0 update. This tool can now fully analyze videos, summarize content, add captions, and give you instant feedback. Whether you're a YouTuber, a content creator, or just someone who works with video, this tool could save you hours of time and really help you level up your video game. Let's jump in and I'll show you exactly how it works. To get started, just go to aistudio.google.com. You can create a free account or you can just log in with your Gmail account, which I'm sure you already have. Then just go to starter apps. And then we're gonna click video analyzer. Now you can add videos in a few different ways. Just click the plus button. And the first way is you can just select it from your Google Drive since you will have your Gmail connected, or you can just simply upload a file. Let's go to Google Drive and I will pick a video here that I wanna get feedback on. Let's say I pick this one here. And now it's going to start downloading it and we are done. Now the way it works is you just type a prompt here just like you're talking to regular Gemini or ChatGPT and it also has a few prompts here on the right side for you. So you could say AV captions right here, it writes the prompt for you and you'll see in a few seconds it's done that for you. And so a man with a dark hair and a goatee looks at a camera. And so it's kind of breaking down each scene. You could go to paragraph, hit generate. And so you can see the summary of the video. And this stuff is kind of cool. It's interesting, key moments. And so you can see some of the time codes there. But here's the really cool feature. You can actually talk to it about this video. So let's say you said, break down this video for me. What do you think works well? And what do you think you should change? So this would be impossible previous to this because it wouldn't have been able to watch a video. So you can see it's doing it now. So you can say, break down this video for me. What do you think works well? And what do you think should be improved in the content? Run. And it will take a few seconds to do this analysis for you. Strengths, clear value proposition, video problem format, solution, visual scan, demonstration areas for improvement, pacing. While the video is concise, sections might benefit from being slightly slower. For example, when describing X tiles, deeper dive into features. Although the video mentions features like Kanban boards and task tracking, a deeper dive into how those features work might be beneficial. Lack of a testimonial, visual appeal. So you can see right there, it is giving us a real critique on this video, which could be huge for so many different people, especially if you're just new to video. Sometimes you just don't know what areas you could improve or what you're missing. And so it's always helpful to get feedback on your videos or your writing. Just like, like I said, a lot of people, including myself, I get feedback on almost everything I write with ChatGPT, but this is the first time that you're actually really easily able to get feedback on video and for free. And so, Getting feedback is one of the things that you can do. Another thing is you can actually just ask it questions about this content. So say this wasn't your video and you were trying to understand this video, or if you just wanted to see what it would say to make sure that it's understandable, you could say, what are the main benefits of the X tiles tool shown in this video? And so here you're just talking to it like a person, really, you're just writing a query and seeing what it'll do here. There you go. Versatility. The tools presented as being usable for a wide range of tasks. You see the templates, the flexibility right there. It just watched this video and answered it. So this is really honestly pretty cool. If you have a 10 minute video and you don't want to watch the whole thing, you can just upload it in here and just ask away and it will answer questions for you. So it's a pretty handy feature, whether you're using it for your own videos or someone else's. So if you found this video helpful, do me a favor, hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more AI and automation content just like this. And I'm just scratching the surface with Google Gemini 2.0. They released a ton of features in this thing. So if there's a specific use case you want me to cover, just comment down below and I will make a video about that. Speaking of which, if you wanna see something else cool that Google Gemini can do, check out this video right here.